Okay guys, so obviously spring's here, the weather's changing, the sun's out, market's starting to warm up, or what's happening out there? It's definitely getting busy. If people were waiting for that bottom of the market, we've passed it, we're starting to speed up again. For sure, I'm pretty sure the bottom of the market was February. Yeah? So what, what makes you say that? Is there more sales, higher prices? What's, what's happening? Well, it's gone up about 5% over the last month, and uh, we're seeing a lot of multiple offers again. If you're priced right, we just sold a listing for 40,000 over list. Multiples are happening, so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's exciting. Busy. Yeah. Mike, <laughs> and, and what about from your end? What are you starting to um, see? Now? Unfortunately, inflation's come in uh, not as low as we were hoping, and we don't think it's gonna drop the, the fast uh, way we were hoping. So it probably means that Rates are going to stay a little sticky and stay where they are, uh, not go down as quickly. So we're looking at probably prime not coming down until mid next year. Um, I'd love to tell you that it's coming down faster, but it's not. <laughs> so uh, so far, the economic news has been more positive than they expected, and, that, and that's why we're we're not really going into a recession the way we thought we were going to. And will it happen? It could still happen, definitely. But it just seems to be pushing out a bit farther. So. For those of you waiting for rates to come down to do something, it's probably not the best way to do it. Uh, we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and deal with um, the current situation. Five year fixed rates are in the mid fours roughly and uh, historically that's not actually that it's bad. It's not that rate. bad at all. Yeah. 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 Um, but like you guys, I mean, it's it's a limited market. So if somebody's waiting, I, I think it's a good time to just get out there and start looking or doing something, right? Um, I know one, one angle that we have that uh, a lot of people aren't aware of is that we can do these special mortgages where uh, if somebody has their home free and clear and they're looking at downsizing but they're scared because they don't know where they're going to go, um, we can put uh, financing in place where they can buy the next place, even renovate the next place, and move into it and then have you guys sell it. And that could open up the door for some people. So I think that's it's a good thing to know about. Yeah, yeah absolutely, great. for sure. Another thing a lot of people don't know about is we had a million people come to Canada last year and we're on track for another 460,000. So Housing is still going to be in shortage. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's something that's, that's good to touch on. A lot of people don't realize no the one world talks about wants it. to come here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're in a bit of a unique situation compared to a lot of other areas. Uh, um, British Columbia just in general is beautiful and, and everyone wants to be here. So that's, that's a good Yeah, and, and the, the stuff they've been building, condos in particular the last few years, aren't really what the market wants. Unfortunately, it takes so long to get a condo built uh, that it's, it's not accurate to what the mar market needs. So. I mean, down the road, it'd be great to see two and three bedroom condos all the time for families. But um, until we get there, there's going to be a shortage of, of units. So, yeah, I think it's it's people need to get their ducks in a row and look for um, their work with what's there right now and, and look at putting it all together and, and making a move if that's what they want to do. Another interesting point, too, is the BC government's looking at uh, basically making taking rid of zoning out altogether. So if you have a single family home, you can actually, if the lot's big enough, you can put a floor plex on yes. there. So right every land will be four doors. Exactly, yeah. so we could see actually all home prices increasing just due, yeah. to the lot, just due to the land. Yeah, it seems like whenever the government gets involved, it just ends up being increases in prices. You know, whatever Correct. they try to do, it doesn't. it's the opposite effect generally. Yeah. So you can buy an older single family home for 800 or they can rebuild it and you can buy a quarter of that for 800. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> winning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, right. awesome.